started with patterns and I'd always worked with pleated fabric and uh, I found that method kind of very restricting so I just started draping it's something I'd learned in school a little bit and then started working with it on my own and really liked it and now that's pretty much all I do um, you know I took a season off because my retail experience did not go very well and uh, after that I sort of decided to go ahead with what I intuitively felt was right um, to work the way I like to work to work as an artist and to not really you know try to fit in some kind of frame that I thought would be appropriate in any way seeing as I did take this whole year off you know this fashion thing has been a bit of an expensive hobby um, I started doing photography so I that's how I make my ends meet you know I do some boring things like catalogs and whatnot I do some more fancy things like burlesque um, burlesque dancers I also do some escorts as well um, you know, really whatever. I'm the, I'm the girl that gets all the odd jobs that nobody else wants to do and I'm really happy to do them. With the photography that I've been doing, because a lot of it um, is escort, there's some burlesque, it's quite sexually infused and uh, that um, you can see that influence in my fashion work. So that's why there's a very strong uh, bondage and S&M edge to this collection that I just presented. As well as um, in the lookbook that I just shot, I shot the lookbook myself obviously, you'll see the way it's posed and the way it's lit, that edge is also there. You can see the connection. You know, it's not something that I sat down, I'm like, okay, we're going to go bondage this season. It just came sort of very naturally, it was an organic process, sort of a transfusion from what I see in my other life to what I do um, in my fashion life. So it just sort of came about that way. Uh, the collection will be available at Denis Gagnon's boutique in the Old Port um, in April, starting in April.